If you want to know how to add in commas to numbers in Roblox Studio, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel. My name is Newbie and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to get commas into numbers. So let me demonstrate real quick before we begin the video. If you have, for example, $500,000, it will make it 500000 with a comma in between. And if you would have a trillion, it would display this on your screen. So you get the concept now of this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and turn it on to never miss out on any video I create and publish and whatever you want. And if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below. And we can start off with this tutorial. So first of all, we're going to need some leader stats because, yeah, why would we not need leader stats? So first of all, insert a script in service script service and type local players. Oh, local players is a good game. Clon get service players. There you go. Players dot player added. Clon connect function player. So now we're waiting for the player to join and we'll give it an argument called player. So the player is now this basically. So now we can do local leader stats. So because the instance that new a folder. There you go. Leader stats that name as it gets the leader stats because we only need the name of it. Now uh, we forgot to set the parent. So we're going to do leader stats that parent is it to player. There we go. Now we can do local money is equals to instance.new. Uh, let's see, we need a number value. And sorry for my typing, it's really cold here and my hands are freezing. So now money.parent is equals to player, money.name is equals to money, and money.value is equals to. 500 because why not so now that you've made your leader stats if you would click play game you're gonna notice you're gonna have some leader stats at the top right or not because roblox is pretty annoying sometimes so let's find out what the issue is and i just figured it out changed this to leader stats so now if you click play game you're gonna notice there we go 500 cash So now for more demonstration, I'll be adding in a screen GUI, a text label, and I'm going to resize it. Oh my lord. So it doesn't do that. So we're just going to do this. This. And I'm going to make it really big. There we go. And uh, we'll, be we'll be adding our money in this. So now you can add in a local script for that. And you can do local player is equals to game players actually game is equals to game colon get service players now you want to do um let's see we need to do function comma with an amount yes now we need to do the local let's see we need to do a wall to do loop and then amount comma k is equal to string dot g sub and we'll be finishing that in a second and then if k is equal to, equal to zero then we're gonna break this and at the end of this we'll be returning the amount like that so now before we finish this up we're gonna be doing um let's see players dot local player dot leader stats dot money no changed colon connect well colon get property changed signal value colon connect function there we go that's a long line and we'll just do script the parent dot text is equal to um well dollars of course dot dot players dot local player dot leader stats 
Got money, that value. And now we fin we'll be finishing up this G sub thingy, you know, I'll be showing the script just for the slow typers. Okay, three, two, one. Alrighty, so the G sub is going to be something very complicated. You're probably gonna be wondering what is this? Well, it is pretty um, weird. So now I want to do amount and then comma. And this is super confusing. Trust me. You want to do a, well, I, well, I don't know what it's pronounced, but it's just a house up or something. Bracket minus question mark percentage D plus and then close bracket, another bracket, another close bracket. And in these two, in these two brackets, you want to type percentage D, percentage D, percentage D. Now, out of this variable, I'm going to do comma, and then instead of two, of those commas thingies, I don't know what they're pronouns, I'm very sorry about that, I'm not native English, and we just want to do one of them, uh, you want to do percentage one, comma, percentage two. And there you go, that should basically be your script. So why not, and test this out? Because yes, and it doesn't even work. That is very, very sad. If we do a hundred, okay, it does work. A hundred, if we would do a thousand, it is not working. Oh, that is because we forgot to use the function. Uh, over here, you want to do comma, and then put that in. Because the comma refers to the function, and then you want to add in that. So that was my mistake, but now you get the point, and we'll be smashing right through. So now if we just change our money, to a thousand as you can see it adds in a comma because it's over a thousand if you would do a lot of numbers I was gonna say e plus okay maybe after a little bit less like that as you can see 10 million 100 million a billion uh 10 billion what do we have more we have a hundred billion and then we got a trillion I believe you can add on a little bit more numbers to that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we're back at that. Let's see when it ends. Ah, there we go. We got 10,000 billion. And it is adding on the commas right over here. It is less than the, if you do... Well, you can't type in it. So you can just do a lot of numbers. And as you can see, it will just display it with the commas. So if you want to see the script one more time, start it over here. Give it a pause. And if you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe as I said. All I can say is that my name is Newbie and I say peace out, folks.